Right, so um, welcome back. This is Dr. I'm Dr. Julie Nowak Steers. I'm here with consultant naturopath, and we're talking about skin health. And we've, we've spoken a bit about the foundations of skin health and also the mind body aspect when you're working with skin health. And I think it's more chin, um, the plants, the botanicals that one can utilize to help support. Um, bringing their skin health back into you know, just more vibrancy. And um, it's important before you start botanicals, especially if you're on any type of pharmaceuticals, that you do consult with a qualified healthcare pr practitioner that understands how botanicals can affect um, the pharmaceuticals that you may be taking. Um, and also being mindful that there are some botanicals like you know, just chamomile that pretty much anybody can drink unless you're allergic to it. But some of the botanicals that you're using for skin health, you're using on a um, short-term basis while you're also cleaning up your diet and maybe addressing other areas that might be affecting your skin health. But the, the go-tos for botanicals that are working with skin, I really look at the blood purifiers um, that help to Kind of just cleanse the blood a little bit more. And so when, what comes to mind when I'm thinking about blood purifiers are like burdock root is um, one of my uh, botanicals I like to use a lot with a skin health formula. And also um, even using a little bit of red clover blossom is great. And that also coincides with helping with um, supporting a woman with the liver function too, you putting some red clover blossoms in there and supporting the hormonal health. So you kind of get both uh, of those um, aspects being addressed with using red clover blossoms. Um, I like to put a little bit of um, a lymph mover in there too. So um, something that is very mild lymph mover is cleavers. Uh, and this is a great herb. I don't know if you've ever been hiking in the high countries. Um, I used to hike a lot over in California in the Sierra Nevada mountains, and we used to be able to just get our water fresh from the springs there. And sometimes when I would find a water source, I would have to follow it up, you know, this little stream there and get to the water source because that's where I wanted to get the water from. But there would be this herb that was growing this like this vegetation over it and I would have to kind of move through it and it would stick onto my my clothes and stuff like that and then I eventually learned how to identify this plant I found out it was cleavers and it's interesting cleavers is a wonderful plant because as you um, drink this in a tea what it does is it's going through the body and grabbing onto the toxins just like how the plant did to me when I was trying to get to that water source and it, it's a very mild lymphatic cleanser. And um, it's unlike some of our other lymphatic movers that can, you know, like poke root, which you can only use on a short-term basis. And you have to be mindful of, um, you know, using too much of it because it can be toxic. Um, so you know, just using blood cleansing herbs, um, liver supporting herbs like dandelion root, um, is a nice formula to include in a formula also with, um, you know, skin health. And um, I'm trying to think if there's any other herbs off the top of my mind. Um, so we got the burdock root. Um, I'll even put some red root in there, which is really nice for um, helping support the lymphatic system too. So um, botanical formulas, if you're interested in having a one that's individualized towards your own um, constitution and also if you're on any pharmaceuticals um, that is something that i really enjoy doing and um, we are in contact with a very good botanical supplier that um, could actually make up a individualized formula for you here through um, consultant naturopaths so um, if that's something that you're interested in please you know get a hold of us We'd love to work with you. Thank you. All right, is that two cells?